God bless you friends. I am sure that you were able to listen to the first three lectures in this series on Bible and Science. Please remember that uh, the remaining lectures depend upon the first three lectures and therefore if you have not been able to listen to the first three you must obtain them from the same source from which you were able to get this fourth lecture. They, the first three are the key to the remaining lectures in this series. We noticed in the first three lectures that there is no conflict between the established facts of science and the statements of the Bible. We also saw the corollary that no statement of the Bible has ever contradicted an established fact of science. Let me give some examples. But before I give examples, let me remind you that there are anywhere from 7 to 10,000, depending upon how you reckon. There are 7 to 10,000 references in the Bible related to the world of science and uh, surprisingly, not surprising for those who already believe in the Bible, but sur definitely surprising to those who would like to question the Bible that uh, none of these 10,000 references have ever questioned any fact of science and nor has any fact of science contradicted any of these statements of the Bible. Let me give you an example. Let's come to the first verse of the Bible which is Genesis 1.1. Genesis 1.1 says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In other words, the universe has a very clear beginning in time. Now, to you who is living in the 21st century, that may look like a very obvious statement, but it was not that obvious just say about 60 years ago. Even in 1930s, 40s and 50s people, I am talking about people in science, people used to consider the universe as eternal, no beginning, no end. The steady state theory was very popular which in general maintain that the universe remains in the same state forever. But then studies in second law of thermodynamics made it very clear that the universe cannot be eternal. The universe, if it is left for an eternal amount of time, would eventually die what is known as the entropy death. Since the universe has not died the entropy death yet, it is very clear that it is not eternal. That is exactly what the Bible says. I would be interested in quoting from the Bible a number of verses from the Bible to remind you that these statements related to the world of science contain scientific insights which were given by the scriptures thousands of years before science actually discovered them. Take the example in Genesis that came almost 3,000, 6,000 years before science firmly established that the universe has a beginning. There is no conflict between the established facts of science and statements of the Bible and statements of the Bible have never contradicted an established fact of science. More lectures will be available in this series and be sure to see them. God bless you.